<laughs> so today's prayer intention, as opposed to what is kind of alluded to in the, the book, is FDC development, technology, and services teams. So that's our, our prayer intention, uh, especially for, for, uh, for Deacon Mark when he reads it. So I guess the Food Donation Connection, development, technology, and... off the bus. There's Bill and Sue. Hey, Welcome good morning, to Gethsemane. Good morning. There is the Golden Gate in the eastern wall of the city of Jerusalem. There's the Kidron Valley. It says Jesus crossed the Kidron Valley and he went into the Garden of Gethsemane. Those are the olive trees. There's some of them 2,000 years old. We'll see that. And here's the Church of the Agony, Church of All Nations, where we're going to have Mass today. Here we are all coming up the road and entering into the Garden of Gethsemane and here we see at least six trees that are over 2,000 years old that if they had eyes and mouth and ears they'd tell you what they saw Jesus sweating drops of blood here in his agony. This is the oldest one. Beautiful place and now we are now going to have mass around the stone where Jesus sweat his drops of blood called hematidrosis. suffering which I put a lot of focus on because you know uh, we always think of suffering as physical suffering but I always say the emotional suffering that we think through here at this rock where you celebrated mass Jesus uh, at one point in his prayer having a rewinding of history he comes into this garden because the first Adam had been in another garden. That Adam had brought sin into the world at the tree of life. A new Adam steps into a new garden here and he's gonna rewind it, recapitulation it's called, where he is going to recreate and start a new humanity. And you can't just join this club, you have to be born into it, just like you have to be born into a family and that's what water baptism is. It's unless a man is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. After Gethsemane, we drive up to the top of the Mount of Olives to go to the Pater Noster, the Our Father Church. This is a view of it through the flowers where Jesus taught his disciples to pray the Our Father. And here it is in over 180 languages throughout. And it's also where Jesus ascended into heaven. And we pray that mystery of the rosary here. We explain the, the story of the history of this place. And then we go down into the cave where Jesus taught his disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. But there is also part of the mountain inside the wall. This wall is from uh, 1581. This is by the Ottomans. It was built by Solomon the Magnificent at the time. When I said, St. Peter's Church, look at that, to your left, that great top church that is built over the house of the high priest. That was inside the wall then, so it gives you an idea that today's city is smaller size-wise than 
than what it was at the time. Straight ahead up the hill is another beautiful church called the Dormition Abbey. That's where we're going to visit this afternoon to talk about Mary falling asleep. At this wonderful overview of Jerusalem, I explain the story of salvation from Adam and Eve until Second today. Chronicles chapter 2 tells us that Solomon built his temple on Mount Moriah. Solomon's temple once stood right where that gold dome is. That's the top of Mount Moriah. That's where Abraham offered his son. He had to walk three days to Mount Moriah to offer Ready. Hello to Food Donation Connection. We're all here in the Holy Land with the backdrop of the panorama of Jerusalem. Today we have a special prayer for the technology services and uh, development. development group. And yesterday we had the support center in prayer. So thank you all for supporting us back home. And everybody else is here to say hello. Hey! hey. 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 We're hey. praying hey. for you. Hey, John. Hey, John. <laughs> hey Stephanie. Hey everybody! We'll start with the desserts and go backwards, but this is our lunch. Everybody's enjoying this place. It's a great buffet. Potatoes, vegetables, rice, schnitzel's excellent, fish, beef, chicken, all kinds of things. Here's our group coming in. Of course, we're the first group here, right in front of the others. And the breads, and the drinks, and look at the salads here. This is Ramat Rachel. And that's where we're going to eat. Bethlehem is right outside the window. Hey, Anita. Hey, Anita. Thanks for this, watching the videos. We're praying for you every day. Wish you were here. Watch him working throughout the day. I was thinking to myself, what do they do when they finally get a rest and go home? Especially for David, who has to get out in the traffic, people go down the wrong side of the road and everything else. So to help both of them out on behalf of our whole group, group here, we're going to give them something to do at least for a couple of nights after they get off work. <laughs> we have a bottle of Lagavulin Scotch, 16 year for both of them. Oh. oh, each of them. Very much. <laughs> and thank you for getting this one. Can I drink it now? Yes, you can, <laughs> but he can't not. <laughs> Our next stop is Mount Zion, where we get off and go into the first church for the, of the afternoon, the Church of the Dormition, where Mary fell asleep on the top of Mount Zion. Here you can see the sign. And this is the beautiful interior of the church, but we spend most of the time downstairs in the grotto. We're praying the rosary at the church abbey of Dormition where Mary fell asleep before she was assumed into heaven. Supper. And we're going up the stairs now to see the upper room. We just came out of the church of the Dormition right there, right next to it, the inauspicious opening to the upper room. And here it is. Now enter the upper room. Four sacraments related to this room the priesthood, Eucharist, confession and as the Holy Spirit fell down here, also confirmation. After the upper room, we walked down to the church where the rooster crowed, St. Peter and Galicantu. This is the church where Jesus was tried on Thursday. We take our people down into the prison where Jesus was kept, lowered down through this hole in the ceiling. And you can see here how he was Christ, lowered down. He came in through that hole and they dropped him down into this pit. And we're all down here now to remember what it was like for Jesus here on Holy Thursday. We're gonna read Psalm 88. You 
have plunged me into the bottom of the pit, into the dark abyss. Upon me your wrath lies heavy, and with all your billows you overwhelm me. You have taken my friends away from me. You made me an abomination to them. I am imprisoned, and I cannot escape. There's a statue of Peter denying Jesus at the house of Caiaphas the high priest, which is this church of Galicantu. That means where the cock crowed, Peter and Galicantu. And this church marks that place. And here's our group. These are the stairs that Jesus went up and down on Holy Thursday when they brought him up from Gethsemane and when they took him out Friday morning to execute him. He went there and then over where we're going to be in a day or two to the Antonia Fortress. So our group is touching the steps where Jesus touched and where his blood spilled. So we just got back here to the Notre Dame after a full and rich day. There's our great driver David and everybody's got a three hour afternoon to relax, explore, take a nap, sit over here in the shade and have a glass of wine, go exploring, any thing they want. Hello David. Hello everybody. So now that we're back, look back out over the Mount of Olives where we were today coming back to the Notre Dame. I already know that there's some people getting tables set right up there to have a nice bottle of scotch. Other people are going to be walking along the walls of Jerusalem. See those walls? You can walk along the top of the walls around the city. Some people are going to the Holy Sepulchre and I know a lot of people are going to take a nap. So we'll talk to you more tomorrow.